for folks who want to be a computational neuroscientist or an AI researcher like you, what should they do? What skills should they hone other than karate? Uh, yeah, so um, what skills, uh, so, okay, what skills for neuroscience or machine learning? Um, neuroscience is super interdisciplinary. I think one thing I was struck by when I first started in, in graduate school is, is one, there isn't really a standard core curriculum. Every single department has their own intro class and you learn different stuff, somewhat just based on the whims of the professors in the department. Um, and also everybody coming into my class had a, a, a pretty different um, uh, experience from undergrad. Some people knew more about psychology, more about math, more about engineering, uh, more about the really like low level neuroscience or biology. There was just a massive spread. Um, and I think basically neuroscience is just in this fairly early stage for a science where the fundamentals are still kind of in development, really like the philosophy of the field is kind of in flux. Um, makes it a really, really exciting time to be in the, the field. There's, there's a lot of turnover of different modeling ideas, new constant, introduction of new methods. Um, I, uh, I personally had experience in math and engineering. Um, the skills I found most useful are, are programming and really just being able to code stuff up um, and as, as a way to kind of um, sketch out or check intuitions about a mathematical model. Um, and, and math uh, is really useful just as kind of a, a more persistent, um, base of, of scaffolding ideas that basically like there's these ideas that aren't going to be changing with fads every second um, and they help you think about um, concepts like uh, representation and uh, how to like do different logical operations and execute computations in, in kind of general way. Um, so that's been really useful to me. Um, the um, uh, philosophy also, honestly, has been really useful just Whoa, for like... that thinking. was unexpected. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> for thinking, um, I, I took some like philosophy of mind courses in college. Um, and I still think about those ideas a lot. I think um, especially once you... They're, they're not going to necessarily be the skills that help you get a job, but they will help you do the job properly and, and think about the, the implications. I think in general, as, as um, uh, neuroscience affects people pretty directly, people are the... the you know, halfers of brains. Um, and AI is really out in the world doing stuff. Um, and questions of ethics and uh, humanities and how these are actually gonna like affect the world and society. Um, I, in a lot of ways, people have thought about them for a while. And in a lot of ways, people kind of feel like they're, they're laying down the tracks as the train is going. Um, so having knowledge in those areas um, will maybe not aren't the most sought after for getting a job, but they will help you think about the implications of what you're doing a bit more thoughtfully.